and we have Michael Domermuth. He's the uh, head of uh, MSC Global, head of Asia Investments, and he joins us from Beijing this morning. By the way, MSC manages about $287 billion in assets globally. Now, Michael, I'm going to uh, start off talking about what Jim Janos had to say on Charlie Rose, saying that China is on a treadmill to hell. What do you think? Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we take a longer-term view on, on China. As our expectation is over the next 12 months, we're going to see 10% uh, growth. And uh, longer term, is uh, we, we expect uh, China to uh, grow at a pace of 7.5% plus on a sustainable basis. But, but listen, is, uh, we are watchful of uh, inflation, and uh, we do recognize that there are some issues there. But you've got to also bear in mind that uh, within the property market, uh, you got some very rich uh, people buying these properties. And in fact, there was an instance uh, recently where uh, mainlanders went to Hong Kong and uh, opened a suitcase of uh, $35 million Hong Kong to uh, uh, buy a, a very high-end property there in, in cash. And so you, you do really have some substance uh, backing, backing up the property market. You're right. Those suitcases of cash, probably not a myth uh, from the mainland. But let me ask you something, Michael. You pointed yeah. out that you're expecting slower growth in China, maybe 7.5% in the future. But, you know, for now, and I guess uh, long term, do you think there's a bubble and will it eventually burst? We're watchful of it. Is, uh, again, long term, we're very bullish on the market. And our focus for China is really the wealth management market and uh, the savings rate. Is, in China, is the um, savings rate uh, for personal income is 51 uh, percent. Personal household uh, savings represents about 88 percent of uh, GDP. And uh, from our perspective, we're looking at a $340 billion mutual fund market uh, that has paralleled the early growth of the U.S. market. And our expectation is that over the next 10 years, is, uh, we should expect to see this mutual fund market grow to about $2.5 trillion. Uh, dollars mm -hmm. and will dominate the uh, the Asia scene and uh, will be a very important destination for wealth management players such as ourselves. Yeah, Michael, you mentioned that the savings rate in China, I mean, it's ridiculously high. I think 80 percent or so, in mm -hmm. fact, 80, 80 percent of personal financial assets are in deposits. And that's why you think the RMB is going to strengthen in the next few years? I mean, obviously, that's a huge debate right now. When are they going to let the RMB appreciate in the near term? Uh, how about your views on this quickly? Well, quickly, is uh, the market is pricing in a three to five percent uh, strengthening sometime over the next six months, but really, is uh, this is going to be a long-term secular trend, uh, the uh, story that's going to play out over over an extended period of time. Okay, an extended period of time. I mean, it, I guess in the long term, where do you see the yuan? Do you see it fully convertible, say, within a decade or five years? Well, I mean, you know, China has already made major steps towards internationalizing their currencies. The RMB bond issue in Hong Kong, the swaps with uh, their Asian partners, the encouragement of uh, trade companies to settle in RMB. But the thing that really has us interested is uh, QDII and QFI, both the essential elements of a capital account uh, opening. Is uh, We think that the, the market is uh, very small right now, very modest. Uh, but over the long term, we think, it, again, it's going to be an essential component of the capital account uh, opening. Toward that end is uh, Manual Life Secure disc QFI license just this past November. And our expectation is that uh, we'll get the uh, quota to begin managing uh, directly into the China market sometime later this year. Okay, Michael, enjoy your time in Beijing. Thanks for talking to us on this Friday. Have a good weekend. That's uh, Mike, Michael uh, Dobermuth, who's the MSC Global's uh, head of Asia Investments.